In Elena Dolbanko's 2015 novel, The Silver Swan, the author delves into the exploration of a family's musical heritage and the inheritance of an invaluable cello named The Silver Swan. The story revolves around Alexander Feldman, a renowned and revered cellist, and his only child, Mariana, who possesses her own exceptional talent on the cello. Following her father's passing, Mariana finds herself grappling with the weight of her father's musical genius, the hidden secrets he kept from her, and the complex destiny of the coveted silver swan, which has fascinated her since childhood and will bring unexpected complications into her life. The novel opens with Mariana sitting anxiously in a lawyer's office, awaiting news about her father's will. Despite her lack of interest in her father's wealth, Mariana's focus lies solely on the Silver Swan, a Stradivarius cello her father spent decades searching for, named after the exquisite silver inlay on its wooden surface. Alexander had always promised Mariana that the cello would be hers after his demise. However, to her surprise, instead of receiving the cello, Mariana is presented with a letter unveiling a dark family secret. It is revealed that her father had a mistress who bore him another child. From this point, the narrative transports readers back to Mariana's childhood. She reminisces about her deep passion for the cello, nurtured by countless hours observing her father's movements, passion, and guidance. Mariana's love for music grows as she becomes her father's student, with him as her strict yet immensely talented mentor. From a young age, Mariana recognizes that her ability to play the cello skillfully will earn her father's attention and affection. She plays with the intention of impressing him, yearning for his love and approval. Meanwhile, within Mariana's childhood home, conflicts abound. Her father, Alexander, and her mother, Pyler, engage in incessant arguments, which escalate when Alexander acquires the silver swan. Consumed by envy toward the cello, Pyler believes that her husband values it more than he values her. As the story progresses and Mariana's musical talent blossoms, Pyler begins to accuse her only daughter of stealing her husband's affections. This melodrama ultimately tears the family apart, leaving the silver swan as the sole thread holding them together. At the age of 19, Mariana has become a highly accomplished musician, with some even predicting that she will surpass her father's talent. She performs around the world, but after a year of intense touring, she collapses on stage, abruptly ending her career. Rumors circulate that the incident was triggered by grief, as Mariana's Russian lover abruptly abandoned her. Following her father's advice, Mariana closes herself off from love, harboring a belief that men are deceitful and treacherous. She also renounces performing, citing insurmountable performance anxiety. Upon discovering the fate of the Silver Swan and her father's double life, Mariana descends into a state of frenzy and madness. Her obsession with the cello, an obsession that ensnares anyone who touches it, becomes a powerful device driving the plot forward dramatically. Mariana resorts to stealing the instrument, embarking on a globetrotting journey and committing arson in a desperate attempt to rid herself of the tormenting memories. Author Elena Dilbanko, daughter of the renowned cellist Bernard Greenhouse, draws inspiration from her father's life in his famed cello, the Countess of Stanley X. Paganini's Stradivarius Violoncello of 1707, in her debut novel, The Silver Swan. Dilbanko, along with her husband Nicholas Dilbanko, collaborated with John Gardner to establish the Bennington Writing Workshops, where she taught for several years. Additionally, she had a distinguished 27-year teaching career at the University of Michigan in the School of Public Policy. I hope you enjoyed this video leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.